This is Pastor Jethro's church, the church at Sarazen. Pastor Jethro has been ministering in this community for about 20 years, and this is a building that he created himself. Um, and GBCM since then has been supporting him, but primarily supporting the school that uh, it provides an education to about 550 kids, first through sixth grade. So, big dream of Pastor Jethro in the future is to eventually turn this into a bigger, prettier space that he can fit more people in because he definitely knows this community, has been drawing people into this community for a long time, and uh, is doing a lot of work with what he has right here. So this is Pastor Remy's church at Las Cajobas. Pastor Remy is a senior pastor, and he actually has two churches. So there's a, an associate pastor who would run this church on a Sunday morning. Um, so come on inside so it looks like. This is one of our kind of mid-grade churches. It's not one of our nicest buildings, but it's certainly not one of our worst. And you can see they take very good care of it. There's a lot of a lot of decorations here, um, a lot of love that's put into caring for a church like this. So this church doesn't have a school associated with it, but it does do Sunday school, and you'll see signs on the some of the posts, and those are different Sunday school classes that will break out during Sunday school and go to their their corner um, to learn more about the Word of God. This is also a church that is pretty close to GBCM, so we like to do mobile medical clinics here, we'll set up and see maybe 130 patients in a space like this over the course of the day. Hey, my name's Nathan, and I'm coming to you from GVCM's 40 acres of farming wonderland. Um, we have a farm out here that's primarily exists to support our orphanage. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're growing right now and some of the logic behind how we farm in Haiti and how that's a little different from how we farm in the U.S. So right where we are, you can see we have some trees. Back around to my right, we have a clump of sugar cane. And if you look over to my left, you'll see what looks like a big clump of things growing together. And it doesn't look like we're growing all the same thing here. And that's a good observation. So in the US, you do what's called monoculture very often, where you grow a lot of the same kind of thing together. So you have a great big field of corn. Everything in the field is corn. It's very nice and tidy and in a neat row. The problem with that in Haiti is we don't have uh, as many chemicals available. That's expensive. So. If we want to control the weeds in a crop tropical environment, we have to grow a lot of different kinds of things together. So, and the, the higher level, we'll have something like this mango tree right here that's providing shade for the young plants we're growing. In the mid growth, we might have something like this, which is actually okra. You can see some okra, some young shoots coming off here. And then at the lower level, to help keep the weeds down, will grow something that grows on a, on a vine, like squash, or in this case, Haitian pumpkins. So we grow all these different kinds of things together. It helps keep the soil healthy, and it helps make sure we have a great amount of produce that we can take back and feed the kids at the orphanage so they're eating really fresh, healthy things. That's a little bit about what we do here at GVCM on our farm. Bye.
Hey, I'm Marcus, Missions Coordinator for GVCM. Uh, I'm here to show, to show you around if you visit GVCM. This place where I am is one place I would, I would take you to see so you can know what GVCM is doing in Haiti and how you can help GVCM. Uh, this place where I am is called Big Tree. There's a very big and green tree that you would like if you come down and see GVCN. So you're all invited. This church started with about 20 to 30 people. Now in a regular in a regular service, there would be about 50 people attending church. Uh, it's a number that tends to grow because the, er the area has not many churches. So the need for the gospel can be seen here. So this church tends to grow. Hey, people, this is this is big tree that I talked to you about. We do lots of we treat lots of people here with our nurses, with our doctors, providing medicines. So this is where I want to take you anytime you come to see Haiti. La Bible dit à la belle bagaille et c'est les rejoindre dans le monde ça y a nourri et qui a prospéré, fait la bonne nouvelle à prospérer. 